Hey guys, it's Emily from J14, and I am here with Jace Norman. Hey. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Thanks so much for coming. Life is so crazy for you right now. Yes, yes. There's so much going on. It's been crazy for about five years now. Yeah. I'm uh, losing my mind. Well, I hope you don't, because you, we have so much to look forward to. <laughs> okay, great. With all these projects. But <laughs> first, I want to start on your movie. Yes. Incredible. Thank you. Pixlr High, Private Eye. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the first movie that I developed with Nickelodeon, so actually the first yeah, the first kind of, you know, I did the did three movies with them, and then this next one I was like, I want to develop it and mm -hmm. be a producer and be like, get behind the scenes, and so yeah. that was really, really cool of them to let me do, and it was a really fun experience. That's cool. What, yeah. what kind of changed with this process now that you were the executive producer? Oh, so much more work. Um, it's so hard doing things in general, <laughs> uh, but uh, especially making a movie. Making a movie is super hard, and I think maybe people don't realize how much behind the scenes, how many people go into, I mean, even this interview, we have like five, <laughs> pe six people in the room, you yeah, know? And there's so- There's a lot that goes into it. Everything, yeah. So that was that was interesting to get that experience. Yeah, yeah. and the, cra the cast is incredible. Yeah. Baby Ariel yeah. stars alongside you. Yeah, she's super cool, and uh, we became friends on set. Um, and she's she's just such a professional and such a hard worker. After rapping, did you kind of like make these friendships that lasted after being on set? Yeah, I mean it's weird. Like she was like uh, baby, Ar or just I'll just call her Ariel. I hate baby. I <laughs> Do never you call her baby. Ariel I don't call her baby <laughs> Ariel. I don't even. I just realized that that was her thing like just now. Uh, Ariel's like you must be used to like going on set becoming friends with somebody because you literally spend every day with them for like yeah. a month and then just leaving. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit like what it's like for actors is like you just especially like now there's so many shows coming in and out with the streaming services yeah. and movies and all that stuff. So like, there's so many people you meet and you spend every day with and then on the next thing. Yeah, and you, sometimes crazy. you stay friends with them, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. good things for social media. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Each other. For sure. Totally. Yeah. And with Henry Jane Danger, you're on your fifth season. Yeah. So it's been such a long time. Yeah. Sure you've learned so much throughout the whole process. Yeah. Is there anything that you've kind of learned about yourself? I'm sure. I'm <laughs> totally. Sure a lot, but I mean, I feel is like there I something that sticks out. Um, I mean, you really, you really see how far you can go. Like, you really see like how hard you can go and how much pressure you can take. You know, yeah. I, I think that that's like anybody when when they get a job for the mm -hmm. first time. It's like you really it's really hard and you see how you push yourself and you see how far you can go so I think that that's that's what I've learned of work ethic and yeah. and uh, you know s trying to stay sane yeah <laughs> well what can fans expect in this uh, fifth season um I think it's just it's gonna be our craziest season I think that we've really you know hit our stride like it's mm -hmm. fifth season like we've been doing this for so long yeah. you know we know what we're doing and uh, so we're just kind of going all in and just trying to give them the best you know, yeah. fifth season, we'll, we'll see what, yeah. what happens. And the fan base is so strong. Do you think if they really want a sixth season, do you think it would happen? I, I, that's up to Nickelodeon. I have yeah. no idea. Um, I think I think that if they really push for it, maybe, mm. but it's been five. They got enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think the cast would be on board? Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll yeah. have to see. Yeah. All right. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers I'm crossed. I'm sure that you guys will end it perfectly. Yes. Either yeah. way. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, doing a doing a series finale is always, I've never experienced that yet. Is so. there like some dream ending that you I have in mind or not really? I mean, I don't want to say it out loud, but I kind of want, <laughs> want somebody to like die. No! That would be so dark. <laughs> that would be so cool though. Like, I mean, not like in a cool, not like, like it would be in a nice way. Like it would be very nice to see, no, it would be like a nice tasteful way of making them die and everyone okay. would be sad. Something tells me that's not going to happen, but maybe. We'll keep you an eye know. out. We'll keep an eye out. You never know. Well, aside from all the acting you've got going on, yeah. you also have your own media company. Yeah. And how long has it been? Like a year? We literally launched like th this time last year. Yeah. So yeah. what was it like kind of like seeing it go off the ground and now that it's you've had it for a while? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I keep saying this, so I just sound like a broken record, but like, you know, people don't give enough credit to like these people who are, you know, entrepreneurs. You know, I'm I'm take I have you know I have a big team around me that helps mm -hmm. me, and even even with that, you know, I'm, it's a lot of work to just yeah. create something from scratch, and um, it's a lot of it's a it's it's not as easy as I think. It's like sounds super fun to be like, oh, let's just do it. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's really a lot of work, and it's a lot of people managing people. I think mm -hmm. is a really important thing. I think that they need to like. I don't know, like teach that in schools more. Yeah. Like how to communicate with people. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you'd ever like do that? Like teach people how to yeah. kind of turn it into an educational thing? Yeah. You, you've been learning all this stuff. I mean, I should write company. a book or something, or can, I don't know. Can that happen? That would be awesome. <laughs> no. I don't know. I, I, uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that I have an interesting perspective mm -hmm. as like a young man because um, I've just had such a different experience than most people. Yeah. Um, my age, and so you know, it's, it would be interesting to. It's I've, I definitely have a lot of things to say, so we'll see. We'll yeah. see what that happens in the future. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been like such an advocate for like anti-bullying. Yeah. You've been open about your dyslexia yeah. and how you've kind of like grown from that. Yeah. What advice would you give someone who might be struggling with that in their everyday life? And yeah. Not really know like where to turn. Yeah, I think um, the advice I would always give is is. You know, when you're in a school or in a situation, you're kind of in your own little bubble, and so you mm -hmm. think that like that's the world. And so, if you have problems in that world, you think it's like the end of the world, but really, it's just a little bubble. So, if you can just, you know, if it's school, you can just wait it out, or you can leave, or whatever. You can find a totally find a new life anywhere. Yeah. So it's it's not the world is so much bigger than I think people realize. Even me. With the new year, 2019, what can, what else can fans expect? Anything else to? Um, just another season of Henry Danger, awesome. and um, and then after that, I'll, who even knows? Yeah, who, who knows? knows? Maybe who knows you'll write a book. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>